Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an iframe element responsive. First, I'm going to demonstrate the responsiveness issue with iframes. So here we have an iframe element. And when we make the screen smaller, around 1,300 pixels, you notice that the, the, the margin is over overrided. So you can, can, no, can no longer see the right margin. So now this is somewhat unresponsive. So to fix this, we can go do some CSS. But the first thing we have to do is remove the default width and height values. So then we want to create a parent element or a wrapper around the iframe and give it a class okay now we have a element that wraps around the iframe so now we can add some CSS. So we're going to use position relative. This is just so we can position the iframe in relation to our wrapper element later on. Then we're going to add overflow hidden to hide anything that overflows the, this container. And lastly, and the most importantly, we can add padding this can be top or bottom, and we will add 56.25%. And there's a reason for this number. It's because YouTube videos use a ratio of 16 to 9. So if we divide, oops, sorry. So we get 0 0.56. So, so this keeps the iframe in the right ratio. Then we're going to add some CS, CSS to the actual iframe itself. So we're going to select the iframe within the wrapper element. And we're going to add position absolute. And this will make the iframe positioned relative to its parent element. Then we're going to add top 0, left 0. This will center the element in its container. And then width 100% and height 100%. This will fill the container with the fill the I fill the container with the iframe. So now if we save and go back go to back to the video, you'll see that the video is now centered and it's not overflowing outside its margin. So now when we when we make it smaller, it's completely responsive. An iPad responsive and an iPhone responsive. So that's how you make iframes responsive. Thank you for listening.